Hey guys, welcome back to Mate Where With The Maulies, your channel for all things outdoors, getting away in our caravan and family related fun. Now this week's video is as a result of a recent accident that I've just had. Um, last weekend, regrettably, I uh, fell off a ladder um, from the loft, being an idiot, um, and I've injured my shoulder. So we thought one of the things we could maybe do was to say what can we do to make getting away in our caravan or our motorhome easier? and hopefully answer the question of what to do if things go wrong before you go away. So the main theme really is the preparation and planning side of things to your trips. Do you leave certain items in your caravan or motorhome? It certainly is beneficial to do that. It will save the transit time from all the things you need to take with you from home into the caravan and actually probably make your life a little easier packing up and unpacking when you get home. One of the major things that will help in terms of getting away and not forgetting things is to have something like this, a caravan or a motorhome checklist. And that for us includes some pre-tow car checks, some pre-tow caravan checks, some ready-to-tow sanity checks, the things sort of like, have you checked the hitch? Are there all the corner steadies raised? Is the electric hookup unplugged? Those sorts of things. We also have a jobs upon arrival that need doing, leveling the caravan, putting the electric hookup in, sorting out the water, both waste and input. The list also includes some absolutely essential items that we take with us. If you've not seen our video, check out the link for some essential items that we always take away with us when we're caravanning. Things we need to take inside the caravan, bedding, bath towels, all those sorts of things. And then some kitchen items as well. And things that we always take for the kids, so the likes of books, toys, um, chargers, those sorts of things. So if you're maybe new to caravanning or new to motorhoming and not quite sure on all the things that we take, if you want to know, hit us up in the comments below and we can send you through some of the information that we always take with us. Now knowing what needs to be done when you when you arrive on site is also really useful. For me, the most strenuous task is putting up an awning. Now on our next trip away, we're away for three nights, but it's across two sites, we will be taking an awning with us. Now again, that can be a question you ask yourself, do you really need to put an awning up if you have seriously limited yourself? In our case, it's really useful for us to have an awning up. Um, regardless of the season because it's a great place for us to store bikes, to store a Kadak, shoes, those sorts of things. So if the weather is a bit inclement outside, at least we can take all of those things off in a relatively dry space before we get inside the caravan. There are some devices on the market to help you putting up an awning if you have struggled um, as you may struggle like in my case, such as an awning buddy. I know Lynn and Rich have tried this um, when they were trying to put up their divorce in a bag. Um, there's a link in the description as to where you can get that and also to their channel as well. Finally, ask yourself what needs to be done to make your life easier the next time you go away. So if you've been away and, and it's been really wet and you've had to put your awning down really wet in the bag, make sure you get home and dry it out. Now I have to be honest and confess, I haven't done that. Um, the last time we went away we still love to stay. It was a bit wet and unfortunately life has dictated that I haven't had the time. I meant to do this last weekend uh, but unfortunately I injured myself and wasn't able to put it up and sort out the problem. So I'm going to have to do that, which is a real shame because I wanted to bring that as a video to you guys just to show you how we're going to sort that problem out. But I think I'm probably just going to have to get on with it and come up with some repair. Now depending on how that goes, I'll let you know, see what I did. Um, if the first attempt fails, in fact I'll still make a video about how to do that, um, but it probably just won't be shot in the way that I wanted to do it in the first place. So that brings us to the end of this short video. Thanks very much for watching. Let us know in the comments below if there's anything you can think of that will make your life a little easier and some of the things, tips and tricks you've maybe found to make life easier for getting away. Because one of the things we've found is that only doing one night away is obviously better than no nights away. But the reality is if we have to spend two hours loading our caravan, two hours unloading our caravan, for one night when you can't get there before 2 p.m. and you've got to be off at 10 in the morning, you don't really have much time on site to sit down and relax. Thanks very much for watching. Hit the thumbs up if you liked this video. Hit subscribe if you've not already done so and leave a comment to let us know some of the things that you do to make your life easier when you're going away. Thanks very much for watching and we'll see you soon.